Hi and welcome to my new video and my channel. And if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you. In my hands, I have another fishing gear watch. And since this is a review and a detailed how to tutorial video, you can jump through the steps of the video using the description. Previously, I did a review of a similar watch, also a fishing gear from Casio. What these watches offer is a probability of fish in the water when you go fishing. It is based on information about the moon age and your home site data. Home site data is your longitude and latitude. You have to be aware that this watch is not a sonar on your wrist. It will give you some basic info experienced uh, fishermen are full aware of. But nevertheless, it's a cool gadget to have. When it comes to a watch itself, it is slightly different from the previous fishing gear watch from Casio I did a review of, the WS. 1200H. The looks of the watch are different for sure. This watch, the WSC 1200H, is analog slash digital and with that comes designated option to align your analog and digital time. It looks more beefy with bulges and buttons on the side. Cool details are the hour and minute hand which are hollow. The watch has double LED uh, light with amber yellow lighting to ensure uh, readability at night. Watch buckle and watch strap are simple. Combination of rubber and plastic with plastic buckle. But it should do its job just fine. There is not too much to say about these watches. They have its purpose. They are cheap, water resistant. Battery should last for 3 years. It has an auto full calendar. What else do you want for 50 bucks? In the next Next segment of this video, I will run through all the functions and how to set the watch. So let's get started. Let's get started with the um, watch indicators and watch modes. What are the watch indicators? Well, obviously you have your uh, moon and phase indicator over here. Here are the uh, digital form of your hour, minutes and the seconds. Uh, over here you have your day of the week and um, month and day. Over here is the fishing level indicator and over here is the PM indicator or would be if this watch is in the uh, 12 hour time format. And as you can see currently these, uh, this watch uh, is muted so you have your uh, music uh, logo crossed which, be, which means that the watch is muted. When there is no, there, where, uh, when there is no, not uh, this logo on the screen that means that the watch is, uh, has its uh, tunes when uh, pressing the watch buttons. And what are the watch modes? Well, you can shuffle through the modes of the watch by pressing the mode button. So pressing the mode button once, get to the uh, fishing slash uh, moon mode. Uh, next press is the stopwatch mode. Then com comes the countdown timer, alarm mode, dual time mode, and the hand setting mode. And as I've said in my review part, this it is a designated mode to set your uh, analog hands to correspond to your digital time of the uh, watch. And pressing the mode button once again, we are back to the beginning of the uh, running through uh, watch modes. How to set the time and date on this watch? Uh, from the standard timekeeping mode, and this is the mode when your watch is showing your uh, time, so uh, digital time over here, and your date on the upper part of this uh, digital subdial just above the hour minutes and the seconds hand seconds uh, value sorry so whilst in this mode press and hold the adjust button until the seconds start to flash now we see that the seconds are flashing and you cannot set the exact value of seconds but what you can do is uh, reset that value to zero by pressing the search button over here once and it's back to zero Pressing the mode button once again, uh, we enter the daylight saving time mode. Is it off? So you can shuffle between off by pressing the search button. So between off, sorry, between off or on. So off or on. Currently daylight saving time mode in uh, my time zone is turned on. So I'm going to turn it on. Pressing the mode button once again, I'm shuffling through the uh, hour value and as you can see the hour value is flashing so I'm in the position to set the hour value. 
currently in my time zone it's 22 o'clock so i'm gonna set it using these two buttons so the but light button or the search button to shuffle up or down i'm gonna keep pressing one of those two buttons until i get to 22 o'clock once i'm done i'm gonna press the mode button once again and the flashing will continue to the minutes value in my time zone it's 16 minutes so i'm gonna press the light or search button to move it up or down so let's get it to uh 30 uh, let's get it to 37 actually one minute ahead and there we are we have set uh, our minutes value now we press the mode button once again and we are in the position of setting our year value we can see that the it's flashing 2006 so currently it's 2021 um, and I'm going to press the light or search button to increase or decrease that value. So in this case, I'm pressing the search button to increase my value to, 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 to 2021. Once I'm done, I'm going to press the mode button once again. And I'm in the position to set my month value. As you can see, the number 6 is flashing. So uh, currently it's July. And I'm, and I'm going to press the search button to increase the value to number seven over here that corresponds to july but uh, to increase or decrease you can press the light or search button to move it up or down pressing the mode button once again i'm shuffling my flashing to um, day value so currently it's blinking 30th and it's not 30th it's actually uh, Ju july the 5th and i'm gonna press the light or search button to increase or decrease that value i'm gonna get get it to number five so july the 5th 2021 once i'm done i'm gonna press the mode button and basically we are in the beginning of our uh, adjustment uh, adjustment cycle once you want to implement all of those settings simply press the adjust button and the watch will uh, implement the, that time so press it again and you have your time implemented uh, be aware that uh, once you are exiting your settings value, you will have to press the adjust button twice. How to specify the illumination duration? Well, from the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button until the seconds start to flash over here. Now we are moving our attention to this upper part of the screen, which has the LT and one line across this uh, part of the screen. What this one line means, uh, well, it means that when I press the light button in the standard timekeeping mode, my light will stay on for one and a half seconds. Now, when I press the uh, light button in this case, when the seconds are flashing, three uh, lines will appear. This indicates that when I press the light button in the standard timekeeping mode, so when I want to illuminate my screen, since there is now three lines, the watch uh, LED light will stay on for three seconds. So um, uh, by sh pressing the light button, I'm shuffling between my, the illumination duration of my uh, screen between one and a half seconds and three seconds. I'm gonna leave it at one second. And uh, once I'm done, I'm simply gonna press the adjust button twice and the watch will implement that setting. Previously, I told you that the button operation tone on this particular watch is turned off and I can see it by looking at the screen and uh, this crossed uh, music note is visible so that means that the uh, tones are muted. To turn it back on, simply press and hold the uh, mode button until it toggles. And there it is, you heard the beep actually. Now it's missing, which means that the button operation tones are turned on on this watch. And you can hear it when i shuffling through the watch modes. How to use the stopwatch mode on this watch? The stopwatch lets you measure the elapsed time, split time and two finishes. So first of all, let's enter the stopwatch mode from the standard timekeeping mode by pressing the mode button once, twice, and we are in the stopwatch mode and that's indicated by the st on this part of the screen over here you have your hour minutes you have your seconds and these two zeros uh, below the minute hands are the uh, one one hundredth of a seconds 
So let's get through the basics of how to use that stopwatch. How to measure the elapsed time? Well, first of all, press the search button to start your stopwatch. And a cool feature is this uh, upper screen, uh, which are the actually the, the um, animation of a stopwatch in the fishing gear watch. So the watch is running. Press the search button once again to stop it, to resume it, stop it, and the adjust button to reset the value. How to measure the split time? Press the search button to start it. Press the adjust button to split it. Split is displayed over here. Press the adjust button to split release. Press the search button to stop it and the adjust button to reset the value. How to measure the two finishes? First of all, press the search button to start it. Press the adjust button to split first runner finishes, display time of the first runner. Press the uh, search button to stop it. Second runner finishes, adjust button, split release, display time of the um, second runner, and the adjust button once again to reset the value. Those are the basics of a stopwatch mode on this watch. Countdown timer on this watch. You can set the countdown timer within a range of uh, 1 minute to 24 hours. An alarm sounds when the countdown time reaches zero. So first of all, let's enter the countdown timer mode. Press the mode button once, twice, three times, and we are in the countdown timer mode. Uh, so you have your screen indicators. These are the hours, the minutes, and the seconds value. And over here is your um, standard timekeeping mode. Uh, shown just above this row of uh, zeros. How to set the countdown uh, time to be counted down? Now, uh, whilst in the standard, uh, whilst in the countdown timer mode, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep, and you have your uh, hours flashing. To set the value of hours, you can press the light button or search button to shuffle between zero to twenty-four. Once you set your hour value, press the mode button and the flashing will uh, uh, move to the uh, minutes value. Procedure is the same. Pressing the light button or search button over here, you can increase or decrease the value of minutes to be counted down. Let's say I'm going to leave it at 10 minutes to be counted down. Pressing the mode button once again, we have the off flashing over here. I hope you can see it. But what this is, it's actually auto repeat. You can shuffle the auto repeat by pressing the search button between on or off and the watch will automatically repeat its countdown timer countdown time uh, when, uh, once you set it once you set all of that uh, values simply press the um, adjust button and now you have your time to be counted counted uh, down how to uh, use that uh, countdown time well uh, Press the search button to initiate your countdown timer on this watch. And unlike the stopwatch mode where the fishes were running from the uh, center of the watch, now they are closing in. And that's a cool uh, animation of this particular watch. Now we have our time counting down. Press the search button once again to stop it. And uh, also the same button to resume it and so on. So once we have stopped it, we can press the adjust button to reset the value of our countdown time. And basically those are the basics of uh, countdown timer mode on this watch. How to toggle between the 12 or 24 hour time format. In the standard timekeeping mode, simply press the search button and the watch will shuffle between those two. So when it indicates P over here, that means that the watch is in the P region, so PM region, and uh, your time will be uh, in the also 12 hour time format. Pressing the search button, you will get it back to 24 hour time format. How to adjust the analog time? Well, the analog time should correspond to the digital time over here. And if that is not the case, that means that uh, you have to set your analog hands. Now, <clears throat> 
sorry, this watch, uh, in this case, in and on this watch, the digital time does not correspond to the analog time on this watch. So let's get to the uh, hand setting mode of this watch. From the standard timekeeping mode, keep pressing the mode button. So once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and pressing it six times gets us to the hand setting mode. Whilst in this mode, press and hold the adjust button until the current digital time starts to flash and you hear the beep. Now what I'm gonna do to uh, align my digital time to the, uh, sorry, the analog time to my digital time is uh, press the search button and the uh, minute hand will advance uh, 20 seconds. Holding down this uh, search button uh, advances the analog time setting at the highest speed. So let's go. Uh, we need to set the uh, our time at 23 o'clock and 12, 12 minutes. So it's a, a gonna be a bit of a procedure here. To uh, if if this watch uh, asks for um, setting the uh, the an analog hands in the uh, long way, so like in this case, you can uh, lock your uh, moving of the hands by pressing the search button and holding it like I am, and pressing the uh, upper button to lock it. So now I don't have to hold the uh, watch and uh, when uh, my hands are moving. And we are close to the setting of my time. And I'm going to go now in increments to find adjusted. So 23 o'clock and 14, 14 minutes. Here I am. That's pretty much it. Once I'm done, I'm simply going to press the adjust button and the watch will implement those settings. Now, uh, before I go to the fish or and moon uh, application or function of this watch, I've said previously that the home side data is pretty much important because uh, it basically uh, gives you the correct uh, usage of this upper screen and this screen over here. And that is used to determine whether there is a fish in the in the water. Now, before I'm um, going to that, I'm going to show you how to configure the home site data. In the standard timekeeping mode, and which we are currently in, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep, and the seconds are flashing. Now, I'm going to press the adjust button once again until UTC over here uh, starts to flash. The UTC difference differential is the uh, value of my uh, current time zone. So UTC plus one is uh, my uh, time zone. So it's Paris time zone. And pressing the light button, I've just decreased it uh, from 10 to uh, one uh, plus one. Now press the mode button once again to uh, get in the position to set the uh, long longitude value. So currently it's uh, flashing 140 degrees uh, to the east. Uh, now that is my uh, longitude value. Uh, I can uh, uh, increase, or increase it or decrease it by pressing the light or the search button over here in increments of one degree. And when I press the uh, mode button, once again, I can shuffle to the, uh, uh, you see that this part over here is blinking. That was the longitude value of the east. Now it's to the uh, longitude value of the uh, west. Uh, the procedure is the same, pressing the light button or the search button, it will increase or decrease that value. Once you're done, simply press the adjust button and the watch will implement all of those settings. Now when the digital time uh, DST setting is uh, on, the UTC differential can be set in a, a range of uh, minus uh, 11 degrees to plus 15 degrees in 0 0.5 uh, uh, hour units. Fishing or moon mode. The fishing slash moon mode uh, displays an indicator that shows as, as one of the five levels. The suitability of a specific date and time, minutes 0 to minute uh, 59 of particular hour for the fishing, and this mode uh, can also be used to display the uh, moon data. So over here you have your 
Um, first of all, let's enter that mode by pressing the uh, mode button. Simply press it once. And over here you have your year, you have your year, your month, and this is the time, and this is the uh, moon phase indicator. And over here you have your fishing uh, level indicator. What is the fishing level indicator? The fishing level indicator uh, shows the relative favorability of a fishing time calculated in according with the uh, uh, moon transit and phase and I'm going to put the, uh, this table so you can see what I'm talking about. The fishing level indicator changes in accordance with the moon data. In the timekeeping mode, the fish indicator over here uh, in the, uh, flashes whenever, whenever the fish uh, fishing level of the current time is uh, 4 or 5. How to see the current fishing level and the moon data? So in the uh, uh, fishing slash moon mode, press the adjust button to toggle between the fishing level screen and the moon data screen. So over here you have it fishing uh, level screen and the uh, moon data screen. The fishing uh, level indicator um, shows the level for the display time. The initial fishing level screen shows the level for 6 a.m. Now to toggle that, I can press the search button and it will automatically uh, correspond uh, with the fishing uh, fish in the uh, water. So you can see when there is a fish in the uh, water for you to fish. What is the moon phase and the moon age? The moon goes through a regular 29.53 day cycle. During each cycle, the moon appears to wax and wane as the relative positioning of the Earth, moon and sun changes. The greater the angle, uh, angular distance between the moon and the sun, the more we see it illuminated. The moon phase indicator shows the moon as viewed at noon from a position in the northern hemisphere looking south. Note that at times the image shown by the moon phase indicator may differ uh, from that of the actual moon in your area. Now, uh, the moon phase indicator of this watch um, indicates the current full, uh, phase of the moon as uh, I'm going to show you this image so you can see it better what I'm talking about. And that would be another review and a how-to tutorial video on, the, on my channel and specifically on this Casio fishing gear. Uh, note that I didn't uh, go through the uh, in detail when it comes to this watch such as the alarm and the dual time so basically those are the two functions that i didn't go through since they are basically the uh, same for every casio watch what i did uh, pay my attention to is the uh, uh, other uh, functions of this watch such as the fish and moon data uh, i did a stopwatch and i did a basic review of this watch uh, I hope you get the basics. You get that the, this watch is not a sonar for you to help fi to find the fish, but it will also uh, be very helpful uh, and a cool gadget uh, to have on your hands when you go fishing. At least you will have to uh, you will, you can brag to your friends about your another fishing gear on the uh, fishing trips. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, and if you are into watch-related content, please subscribe. So thank you.